Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I am doing a book review on the Urban Druid Handbook. I'm going to make this review very short because it's really warm outside today in Wisconsin, and I would like to escape quickly back into my dark, cold abyss of apartment. One of the things I love about pagan authors is that there are quite a few out there that are smaller, not as well known, working with smaller publishers that have really insightful and wonderful things to contribute to the conversation in the pagan log sphere YouTube general community. While I was on Amazon, I found this book in the suggested reading list. It was only a couple dollars, so I purchased the ebook thinking Urban Druidry could be a really needed perspective. Uh, I'm currently in this city, even though I spend a lot of time out on the family farm. This book, I was hoping, would find ways of bringing more connection and deepening my practice while living in the city. Sadly, this book had almost no connections, ideas, influences that were useful for anyone living in the city. The author at one point talks about how even in downtown city skyscraper areas of the city you can observe the clouds and connect to nature that way. That's one instance in an entire book. So I think the title was entirely misleading. The author's general tone was also a disappointment for me. It was very casual, which can be a good thing when talking to new people about an idea or being approachable for just those who don't have a lot of time and don't want to invest in like a year and day kind of book they just want the information right away this author's tone though was so casual it was really hard to take him seriously and i felt more like i was reading a blog which isn't a bad thing but just like a, a new writer rather than someone who's really had a lot of drafts and a good editor and is honing their craft at a different level. Importantly, I found it frustrating that the paragraphs would often start seemingly in the middle of a conversation. It was almost as if I was walking in on the author talking to someone else and was missing details about the conversation. I was just kind of wedging myself in. Each chapter has a topic that's pretty basic. It's more like a beginner druidry book than anything more developed. Some of the chapters are like a page or two long and not well flushed out, I feel like. At the end of each chapter there are summaries and these summaries are pointless. Summaries are good, but these summaries are like, number one, look outside. Number two, grow your own food. I'm not sure that it added anything to the book in the manner it was presented. I really hope that this author and other beginner writers in the pagan world continue to put things out there, but I can't recommend this book. Um, if you have some extra money and you're trying to spend and vote with your money to help support those of smaller publishers and things like that, then by all means, vote with your money and, and purchase this book. Otherwise, I don't think it's worth your time. I do have some more books that I'm hoping to get reviewed here in the near future, and I'm also trying to interject a few more videos that talk about my personal practice or conversations happening in the pagan world online as well. So if you don't want to miss any of those videos, please subscribe. And as always, may you find peace in the sacred grove. Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today, I wanted to give you a little tour of how I've rearranged my sacred space and altar area. 